Cause y'all gonna get to know Hela. Yep, y'all gonna get to know Hela. They've they've hijacked my Kyrie name. Mhm. Mm That's fine. That's fine. I grew up in this society where the crazy are sane and the sane are crazy. <laughs> oh man, growing up in a society where the crazy are sane and the sane are crazy. Whatever that means. Sound mind, sound spirit, sound body. To all my youngins out there, please, 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 please pay attention to what some of your older family members or relatives are saying. Your older brothers and sisters, please pay attention to them. Like, that's all. That's all, y'all. And I woke up with this on my spirit because I had to let it off. You know, this was this was what was called to me this morning. I don't know what exactly, but this is what has been called for me to share with you guys. The elder generation is saying it's time to wake up. Not everybody's going to get the fight. Not everybody's going to get into the war. Not everybody's fearless out here. You know what I'm saying? I'll be more specific when I say this. I'm getting a lot of wisdom from the elders and they're telling me that this generation that I'm in, and I'm talking about born from 1981 to 1996, that if we don't get our stuff together and start making a conscious effort to change the ways of living out here, we will be doomed. From 1981 to 1996, this millennial generation, I hope y'all know, we're here to shake some up. <laughs> we're here to shake some stuff up. It's important that those that understand that are aligned and what's going on around here, that y'all paying attention because without us making a change right now and and shifting our consciousness, our kids are they're, they're gonna fall victim to the system too. It's a whole lot happening in our world and the system wants you to be depressed, wants you to be um, in a state of being that is low vibrational, all right? It's, um, it's a change and it's a shift in what's going on in our world right now and, and I'm letting you know. But in order to shake some stuff up, right, and the next generation, Gen Z, is going to come right after us. So they're watching this, right? Then you got my kids' generation, which is very young. But I got on here to say this. Please do not. But I got on here to say this. Please do not get distracted out here um, emotionally, uh, spiritually, because the system itself is, um, you know, it, it's, it's dying. It's dying. Old ways of living. The old ways of doing things from 1981 to 1996, this is specifically for y'all. Please, 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 please educate the youth the right way. Please, please. We are star seeds just like Gen Z is, just like our elders where we are star seeds. We returned here for a bigger purpose that many people won't understand. And a lot of this Instagram live will go over people's heads, but that's okay. If we keep living the same lifestyle that we looked at when we were kids and saw like oh this this is popping oh this is not nah, this is this is one of the people i need to follow like think about social media in general like you guys are just we're just following i say you guys no we are we are just following people we're just following people that is a level of influence that's that can be dangerous if it's not poured in the right places wake up wake up we can't we we can't try to force our thoughts and our ways on anybody else but we have to know that the right way is already in us feel me that's why you have to be rooted and grounded in who you are excuse me i wake up every single day knowing that my skin color is something that is hated on my culture is something that has been pushed underneath the rug they're now changing history to be forgotten about. And that's why I'm saying this generation, this millennial generation specifically us, if we allow them to 
cover up all the history and all the things that have happened to our human race and what has been done, we will be doomed. That's all I'm saying. So all the young kids that may not understand it yet, that's fine. You're going to come into this. But to my generation, be better. Be better. Do not get distracted out here. Do not get, you know, do not get to a place where you're stagnant. We have a lot of entrepreneurs. We, we, we have crypto. We have NFTs. We, we've redefined art. We have the metaverse coming. We have all these great things coming. You know what I mean? But still, when chaos happens and trauma happens, we revert back to our old ways. They're trying to do everything possible in order to keep us in a low vibrational state. A low vibrational state. If you don't know what low vibrational state of being is, please go look it up. But I'm specifically talking to my generation right now that if we do not teach our kids the truth of this world and what has happened and what has taken place, it will, it will be lost in history. We will be lost. We will be the generation that's lost in history. Black, white, red, yellow, no matter what color you are, there has been some type of part of your history or our human history that has been erased for purposes that go way beyond our understanding. And the reason why I shouted out the millennial generation because y'all feel this. Y'all feel this and y'all know. My generation knows. We grew up a certain type of way and we're trying to change things, but every time we get back pushback, we, sometimes we give up. It's like, nah, F that. F that. Uh, I'm just a... a a star in the universe but what i do know is when i'm called to share things and i pop out like this is for intention that goes way beyond you know what i can understand physically at times i understand you know spiritually but don't understand it physically and why i'm put in certain places but to my generation and to the older generation we must bridge the gap and it's happening now but we must do it faster I'm just telling y'all the truth right here because when I say that my generation and the older generation has to bridge the gap is because our kids are watching everything that we do. They're watching everything that we do. You know what I'm saying? They're, the kids are watching everything that we do, but we want to put them in the metaverse. We want to put them in front of the TV. We want to put them on Instagram. We want to put them on social media so quick. We want to give them the same diseases that we have right now. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm not putting my kids through this system that's designed to distract and demean and destroy character based on race, culture, class. I'm a native and I'm a black man or African man. I had to identify that because that's what was given to me in this Euro centralized society. I had to identify as a race. I had to identify as a culture. I have to identify what my religion is. But the reason why I'm speaking like this is because to my generation and to the older generation, we can't have this. That's enough talking. We can't have this. Uh -uh. This joint can't fly anymore. It can't happen anymore. And I'm, I'm called crazy trying to grow up in this Eurocentric society. How, how, can, how can I be sane in a society that calls me crazy for tr trying to live a moral, just life, a principle-led life? I didn't grow up seeing color. I didn't grow up seeing, you know, religion and culture, bro. It was taught to me. So my generation, like we dealt, we still deal with it a lot, but our older generation dealt with it far more superior than we did just because it's way more guarded and silent and subtle. All these isms and all these definitions that we put out here. And let me direct it back to my point. I'm, I, can, I can wake up every single day knowing that the system is right in front of me and I'm making money for the system. The system is, is what I need to survive, right? But the system also created an image of the way you're supposed to be out here. And that's just not reality. That's not reality. The image, the image that's created of who we should be. Like, look on, look on all these social media websites. Not every, is everybody not trying to be the same? Millennials, we got to be better. 
We got to be better. Millennials, our generation, this is for us. And y'all know who I'm talking to. Our generation, 1981 to 1996. That generation and our older generation, I don't want to say older, like age, stuff like that. I'm just saying our more wise generation, our elders ahead of us, they got it. They got us. They're going to protect us. They're going to protect us. But first, we have to reclaim a few things. We have to eat well. That doesn't mean just go on vegan. We have to eat well. You have to eat well. You have to treat your body right. You have to treat your mind right. You have to know what you're putting in here. You have to let go of things. You know what I'm saying? You like, I'll give you an example. I had to let go of seeing my ancestors buried in places that have been covered up by lakes. I had to go see, I had to go see museums with nooses around my ancestors' necks. I had to go see lawmakers that are still living today that put a lot of my family members in bondage or in prison or oppress them in some type of way. I had to go see that and I had to let go of that energy, that hateful energy that I had in order to move on in this world, to talk openly. Because if I didn't let it go, I would have been walking around as what? The angry black man. <laughs> the angry black man. I had to, I had to, that's always the MO. If you were the angry black man, you can't get anything done. So I had to change up my approach and my perspective. Doesn't mean that I'm not ready for war out here, but it just means that I know who my enemy is and why they're doing what they're doing. And the reason why I express these things to you is because the millennials, we have the answers. We have the answers. It starts with our diet. It starts with our spiritual systems. It, sp it starts with breaking free out of this matrix, out of this system where you're not controlled by it. You're not run by it. And everybody calls the matrix, the system, whatever you want to describe it as, right? But we wake up every single day and you're not in control, are you? All right, then. <laughs> you know, so let me let me round in everything I said. I I wanted to, I was going to do a post. I was going to do, you know, something to norm, do something like that. But if we don't wake up millennial generation and if we don't partner with our elders and if we don't teach our kids the right ways of living, but I'm saying millennials, if we don't partner with the elders and if we don't take care of Gen Z and the generation that come after, we're doomed, bro. We have the power. We are the majority. Y'all keep forgetting that. Y'all thought it was hard for me to stand on what I believe in, but it's not. It just means that you have to be ready to deal with the consequences, whatever comes that way. And again, I'm going to tell you, and I'm going to repeat this. I don't know all the answers. I don't have all of them. I won't pretend like I do because there's so much information out there, but I will share this with you. When it's on my spirit and on my heart and I've meditated on it, I've prayed on it, I'm going to share it in a way that is positively reinforced. I have no hatred for people in my heart. I am a soul bound by this universe to do amazing things. Even if it's small in someone else's perception, it's big in mine. It's my life. It's my journey. Right. I never was born to see color, culture, class, all these things. Right. I grew up in it. But now that I identify with my family lineage and I know where I come from, there's not anything that could really make me go into hiding anymore because I've seen it all. There's new things happening under the sun all the time, but they've convinced you that there's nothing new happening. You feel me? We're stronger together. We are way stronger together way stronger together and the first thing that i want to see out here is all of us being able to have a conversation right and i don't say all of us like it can't happen all at once but all of us to have a conversation within our households where we address a lot of the stuff that happened in the past without getting too angry about it and leaving the table unheard and hurt because I, i'll tell you this and again, I keep saying this is my last thing, but look, my ancestors' pain and, and pain and anxiety and fear is still in my DNA. It's still, it's, still in the, it's still in the DNA. All the things that my family went through in the past and that I've seen, it went away. And F that, y'all. Nah, it's find your tribe season. Find your tribe. And not everybody is going to get along. I don't expect that. But what I am expecting is that the millennial generation, when we connect with our elders, show some respect for the wisdom that they have. 
but do not judge their ignorance. Do not judge them. Do not criticize what they do not know. Share the information. Give them the right portals. And to my younger generation that's watching this, and to my younger generation that's watching this, Instagram comments, TikTok comments, living your life on social media and technology is not the end all be all and that's not real life. It's a part of life, but it's not real life. So as we're fighting this fight, and I say we're, meaning there are races of people, specifically African people, native people around the world that are fighting for their lives based on skin color. And because of that, there is always this veil that's over top of people's consciousness because they would like to keep you, meaning they, the system would like to keep you distracted physically, mentally, spiritually, emotionally. So all of that being said, my millennial generation, be better. But while we're building our own, we have to just be aware that this is part of our conditioning and brainwashing that happened to us. So until we break free out of that, we're still gonna see this world as what it designed to be. But in order to design something better and new in you, gotta start with diet, gotta start with education. We have to start with ourselves, our spiritual systems. We have to we have to let go of the old mold of being human in this world. Yo, look at the look at the seven the sixteen hundreds, the seventeen hundreds, the eighteen hundreds, nineteen hundreds, the two thousands, and they're over here telling us that, oh no, you know, like it's getting better. No, it's not. No, it's not. Y'all saying it's getting better. No, it's not. We have kids picking up weapons and performing acts of violence. We have kids that are angry and depressed and don't know how to let their feelings be known. We have kids that are dealing with real, true, raw emotions and they're going and they're running to social media to vent. The kids are running to social platforms to vent. If we don't teach them about the mind, body and spirit and these spiritual systems, how do you expect them to learn it? How do you expect them to question authority when they know that the authority is not giving them what's best for them that's all i'm saying i'm not gonna get too you know i'm not gonna get too preachy preachy with y'all on this because y'all probably hear this you know from different spots different places different people but in my generation the specifically the millennials diet health well-being forming our own spiritual system we have the energy to shift this whole entire thing so until we do that we're just gonna keep fighting but i love y'all i love each one of y'all and i pray for you guys as my relatives all the time i pray to creator and our ancestors all the time whether they call me crazy out here in this society i don't give a fuck i don't care that like being called crazy in america is like it could make you billions of dollars <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like being called crazy in this insane society at times. Because now at this point, it's either we're doing something to further along our causes and make this revolution work or we're not. And it doesn't look the same for everybody. Everybody has their own individual journey in this collective consciousness that we have out here. Everybody has their own journey. Everybody. So no, I don't identify as just one thing. You know what I mean? Like, nah, I, I identify as the truth of creator because I'm breathing and I'm able to do the things that I do every day, knowing that I don't have control of it all the time. So let's teach our kids about what we learned and how we grew up, millennial generation. Come on. That's all I'm saying. That's all. It's bigger. It's bigger than entertainment. It's bigger than politics. It's bigger than. It's bigger than all the things that we we hold value. It's bigger than social media. It's bigger. It's spiritually more purposeful to live a life that's aligned. We're standing on things that you believe in that you know are truthful and you have people around you that you can trust. It's bigger, y'all. It's bigger. It's bigger. 
So I love y'all, and I and I I hope that you guys are are having a a great start to your day, wherever you are in the world. All my brothers and sisters, I'm praying for you. I'm praying for your healing. I'm praying for your alignment. All right, all right. So I'm praying to Creator for all y'all, man. All right, love. We're not letting this world get away from teaching our kids something that don't belong in them. No, no, we're not, no, 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 no. We're not letting this system teach our kids what they try to teach us and tell us that this is, this is the way that the world goes. No, it does not. No, it does not. That's not the way we want it to go. So from 1981 to 1996, my generation, I am one of the responsible individuals that's calling on us to be better. We're having kids, bro. Come on. We're having kids out here. And they want they want me to be on here talking about the same things that I do all the time. But look, I'm I'm too politically seasoned. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm I'm too politically seasoned out here because that's the way I grew up. I grew up in this political system understanding that power plays all the time. But the real power is when you follow the green. And the green is something that gets defined by all these people that are playing out there. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? The green, the money. So I was listening to some of this LeBron James rhetoric where he comes off and says that Kyrie Irving actually uh, caused pain to the Jewish community and that people were hurt. Uh, I like to say to LeBron James, LeBron James, here's when people got hurt. You had two authors, one by the name of Richard J. Herrnstein and the other one was Charles Mary. In 1994, they wrote a book. Two Jewish guys wrote a book. It was called The Bell Curve. The Bell Curve, um, it says, Intelligence in Class, a Structure in American Life. In that book, they surmised that blacks were inferior based on our DNA. The book made a New York Times bestseller. The book is still out there. The book was used in classrooms around the world. It was also used in corporations around the world to measure black intelligence. According to these people, according to our DNA, it made us inferior. Our skin color made us, made our DNA inferior to whites and to any other race. And these guys were not geneticists, they were social scientists. So when is it that a social scientist get a chance to surmise that DNA, DNA, they were not geneticists, these were social scientists, meaning that there was no medical anything involved, there was no blood test taken or anything like that. They decided that blacks were inferior to whites based on our skin color. The book is still out there. It's been taught in classrooms and corporations around the world. I don't see the Anti-Defamation League pulling those books. The books are still on Amazon and the books has made millions and millions and millions of dollars. The book is called The Bell Curve. Do your research.